Welcome to the Watchman News and the Art of War 2nd Edition Lesson 7. So, I should have probably covered these a little bit earlier on in uh, in the lessons. These lessons are in no way chronological or anything like that. They're not paint by number by any means. There should be, you know, theories that you should be picking up on. That's what's important is that you pick up on the theories. That's one thing that I've always done throughout my life. That's what I look for. When I when I look for how things work, I don't just look for how does this one particular device work. I want to understand the theory of each component and its actions and how it affects the next component and causes its actions. I want to understand that. I want to know the theory behind it because then if I understand the theory then I don't just know how to fix that one particular thing, but I know how to fix anything that's like that. That's why it's important to learn theory. I could have probably did an entire episode just on that. However, today's episode is going to be about purpose and foundation. I'm going to start off with purpose. To me, to me, you need to have two sets of purpose in your life. You need to have the long-term purpose and you need to have your short-term purposes, if you will. I can go back. There's there's some of my life that I will not talk about. There's different aspects that I won't talk about. Um, there's certain parts of my life that uh, yeah, I could uh, count on like two to three fingers on how many people are even aware but I was in a situation in which I was uh, being tested. It, it, it was, uh, I was training. I was learning. And I was whooped. I was beat. I was, I was just done. And all of a sudden, the person that was training me started screaming about purpose and he kept going on and kept going on it, it was self-defense I'll, I'll say that and he went on and he went on and he went on and the entire time he was going on about my purpose or the lack thereof I just kept getting more and more pissed and more and more pissed and more and more pissed and then eventually I lost my cool and struck out and struck him and that's when he looked at me and he said I see you finally found your purpose that's where I learned this lesson uh, about multiple purposei if you will we'll, we'll make up a word purposei so you want to have your long-term purpose and you know to each their own my long-term purpose is I want to help people that's all I ever wanted to do throughout my life it's amazing how many people will do everything they can to step in your way and stop you from trying to help others it's incredible absolutely incredible that has always been my long-term purpose that is that is what I've always longed to do but I always make sure to have purpose in everything I do in life because that purpose is going to provide the motivation the discipline to be able to perform the task purpose is important if you don't have purpose you need to find purpose you can find purpose in a lot of things but just I, I would advise you to have two sets of purpose. Have your long term, have your short term. I see a lot of people that get too wrapped up in one or the other and then wind up losing their mission because they didn't have the other one in mind enough to be able to protect against the negative influences of it. I'm trying to describe this in a generic way so it would apply to, you know, about anybody's situation. So bear with me on that. 
Purpose is important. It's very, very important. My purpose when I when I struck out, and uh, my purpose was to get him to shut the hell up. That was my purpose. And you know what? That was a good enough purpose. I, I succeeded in that short-term purpose. That is what the individual that was training me was looking for. That's what he was waiting for. He wanted me to isolate and refine my purpose and then turn it into action. Foundation. Let's move on to that. This is what it is. You have to have a solid foundation of your own. You can't ride on the coattails of other people's foundation. You can't. This is something you have to do yourself. Foundation. This one took me a long time in my life to get. And in fact, uh, within the last 10 years. You have to build yourself a foundation so strong that it can't be budged, it can't be cracked, it can't be broken. There's only one place I know to get that level of foundation. There's only one place, and you can take it for what you will. This is that place. There are two places I go for foundation. First here, always first here. And for those that don't, un don't know, that is a Bible. That is a restored name Bible. This particular Bible is called Hallelujah Scriptures. And I will put a link in the description of the video and in the first comment where you can get your own copy of Hallelujah Scriptures. Again, it's a restored name Bible. I really like this. I, uh, I've had this for a little while, so I can't guarantee what all they come with or anything. But I know when I got that one, it also came with this cool book here that has uh, name meanings. You know, because, uh, again, it's a restored name Bible. So there's going to be a lot of names in there that are Hebrew. This helps you know who it is that, uh, you know, those names is, uh, it, it, whose names they are. I mean, believe me, when you go through and you look at this and you see the different names uh, <laughs> of the individuals, it, it can be a little bit hard to uh, figure out who it is that that's referring to. That's kind of like a, a quick cheat sheet, so to speak, on being able to, to get those answers. So I do, I do like this. Um, this here is, I've said it before, this here is my biggest prized possession, right here. The most important physical item to me is this item right here. This particular one. Like I said, I, I've got a couple of foundations. Before we go on to the next foundation, uh, I just wanted to throw another one at you. Uh, that you guys might be a little more familiar with. This is the scriptures. It's the same one that uh, Bear Independent uses. And uh, it's it's the same thing, essentially, as Hallelujah Scriptures. Um, and they also have a, uh, a website that I'll include in the description, as well as the uh, first comment. Uh, I'll leave the link to both uh, Hallelujah Scriptures and the scriptures. And... Either way, if you're looking for one or the other, that will make it hopefully a little easier for you to find. The other thing that I use for foundation, and this should be a given, <clears throat> is this. The Constitution of the United States. I rant and rave about red team and blue team all the time. And the reason I do is because they both ignore this. Oh, now, red team will claim they follow this, but they're nothing but hypocrite liars they will claim they follow this they have completely lost sight of what this even means at this point as all political parties have I've said it 
and, and I'll say it again a million times, I'll say it over and over and over. There is not a person worth their salt to elect unless the very words that come out of their mouths are, it's not up to me, it's up to the people. Because we see all these politicians lining up and they get on stage and they're going to tell us what they're going to do. They're going to do this, they're going to do that, they're going to do the other thing. But I've yet to hear him say, well, I don't know what I'm going to do yet because that's up to the people. And once I get into the office, then I will seek the people's counsel and we'll make it happen. That is how a representative <laughs> constitutional republic is supposed to be. We, at this point, get completely ignored. They do whatever the hell that... It is that they want to do. And they get away with anything that they want to do. Unimpeded. And unfortunately, we don't have individuals, enough individuals in our country with the foundation, with the purpose, and with the integrity to hold their own accountable and since we've reached the point to where we refuse to hold our own accountable we just stand back and reach over the fence and throw lobs at the other side accusing them of the very same things that we're doing and we somehow call that different we somehow call that a choice not a choice it's a joke purpose and foundation without it you're just going to be walking in circles a lot of people probably think I'm crazy that's fine <clears throat> because I've got the drive Hell, oh, some people might think I'm mentally ill that's fine too whatever because I've got the drive because I've got the strength I've got the courage to come here and say the things I say call out the people I call out with full confidence why because I've got this foundation you see I've got this foundation if these individuals that like to strike at me had this foundation they would have the balls to have a one-on-one -on -one with me you know funny story just recently this has to do with John Davis with Prepper Nation apparently he spilled coffee in his laptop it happens and he on a stream had talked about how you know he had lost manuscripts and all this stuff off his laptop and I'm like, I'm thinking, you didn't lose any of that. You just fried your motherboard. So I reached out to him, both on a comment on his YouTube channel. Also, I posted, I went to post a message on his Facebook group, and I said right at the top of the message, John, you don't have to post this. I just want you to know that I know how you can get your data off that hard drive. Really easy, I can... Tell you how to do it. Not even a reply. Mr. Davis has, has ignored me in its entirety over there on his group. And that's fine, whatever. But don't act like a man. If, if you can't stand, if you can't speak your mind, if you can't look somebody in the eye and tell them what you think, you have no foundation you have no courage. You have no integrity. Stop trying to lead. Jeez. Why? Why do I have the courage? It's not because I'm mentally ill. It's not because I'm stupid. It's not because I'm crazy. It's because I have a damn foundation. 
I've got a foundation here in the Bible. I've got a foundation here in the Constitution. I've got a damn big foundation here in my brain that I've spent 50 years educating to know things. To have people that spent a third of their lives watching a television act like I'm the one that's off. Whatever. Purpose and foundation. If you want to walk through life and just be able to walk through it and just make it through any storm, get that purpose and foundation. Otherwise, be one of these other individuals that can't even speak to somebody face to face. I don't ever want to be that weak. Shalom.